I was reading the epistle of Paul, the apostle to Titus. Yeah. Paul, mm -hmm. a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, according to the faith of God's elect, and the acknowledging of the truth, uh, which is after godliness, mm -hmm. in hope of eternal life, which God, uh -huh, that cannot lie, promised before the world began. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in hope of eternal life. Uh, yeah. Now in verse 3, uh, but hath in due times manifested his word through preaching, yeah. which is committed unto me according to the commandment of God our Savior. Mm -hmm. To Titus, mine own son after the common faith, yes. Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ our Savior. Yeah. Uh, for this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting, mm -hmm. and ordain elders in every city as I had appointed thee. If any be blameless, the husband of one wife, yeah, having faithful children, not accused of riot or unruly. <laughs> for a bishop must be blameless as the steward of God, yes, not self-willed, mm -hmm. not soon to angry, not soon angry, yeah. Not given to wine, no striker, mm -hmm. not given to filthy lucre, <laughs> but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, temperate, <laughs> holding fast the faithful word as he hath been taught that he may be able by sound doctrine, <laughs> both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. <laughs> For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, uh, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not, for filthy lucre's sake. Now, these uh, in the way, yes, mm -hmm. they have been uh, a filthy lucre's sake. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. They're not self-willed. They don't say, this is the way we're going to do things. You know, do things my way. Mm. Mm -hmm. They're not angry. They don't get angry through other people because of being on them so as to cause uh, all kinds of mischief and discord. Yes. And then they're not given to wine. They don't go out drinking and partying on Saturday night before preaching on Sunday. Pooch. Mm. They don't hit people through other people. Pooch. You know, I've noticed over the last eight years the number of individuals that have wanted to beat me up. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it seemed to me that those that have anger problems, yeah, they thought they would be on them when they were going to beat me up. Yes. Now, I've had to live in a homeless shelter for the better part of six years. Yes. But it seemed like every place I was going, some angry police officer had to be on somebody. Yes. So if they could just get a few licks in, yes, they'd teach me the lesson that I'll do what you say. Now, this fighting through each other, yes, seems to be a very big problem. It's kind of like having sex through each other. Yes. See, the thought was, well, We'll be on them when they're having sexual intercourse. Mm -hmm. Then we can be them. Yes. And then when they get angry, right, we can be the individual that is fighting through them. Oh, see, I first uh, talked about this probably six, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. If you can be the nerve endings of somebody, you can be the anger of the person and you can be the individual that causes the argument or the fight. Yes, that causes domestic violence and quite often disillusions of marriage. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I know you said the bee wasn't a problem, but I think it's an Illuminatus bee. Yeah, well, you decided to sting uh -huh, the physical body of citizens. <coughs> So as to amp them up, right, mm -hmm. so as to be able to use their genitals, right, so you could be on them when they're angry, yes, so as to cause striking, yes, and arguments, yes, that result in ooch, domestic violence accusations and disillusions of marriage. Now, I mentioned this idea of my wife, pooch, you know, 
I'm going to ask her whenever I'm able to, did you put a lizard in your ass while we were married? Yes. And while on Guam, yeah, did you connect yourself to the electric grid? Oh, <laughs> so that when you were going to be on me, you called yourself a cunt. <laughs> yes. Now, as much as you don't think it's plausible, <clears throat> I had never used any profanity in the relationship for approximately four years. Yes. I really didn't argue with my wife. I let her make most of the decisions that she wanted to. Yes. But I thought she had an anger problem because quite often when things did not go her way. Yes. She would accuse me as being the instigator of something that I had no involvement in. <laughs> See, when I mentioned that we were on the housing, uh, the homeless prevention and relocation program. Yeah. When we first arrived in Guam. Yes. I had reached, researched it all. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. Well, they had a fire at Catholic Social Services when we were living at the Tamuning Plaza and all the files got burned up. Oh, you know how they destroy evidence. Yes, they either burn it up. Yes, they remove it. Yes, or they hide it. Ooh. Well, while staying at the Guma San Jose, I went to the Salvation Army. Yes, and a very nice man. In fact, you know uh, the birth dates and the Social Security numbers of my sons? Yes. Yeah. It's from an actual document um, that I had filled out so that we could be on the homeless prevention and relocation program. <laughs> and then when I think about all the realtors that I had worked with, where every day I went looking for a residence, yes, and I went looking for employment. <laughs> to say that I was a deadbeat dad that neglected my sons, ouch. <laughs> Now, why don't we call the realtors today? Could you get me all the real estate licenses of every realtor in this nation in Germany? <coughs> and then all the real estate brokerage companies that <laughs> have to come to find out. <laughs> you know, let's say you're in the family and I found out that you paid, yes, to intentionally obstruct my rights as a father. <clears throat> See, when I first got here, I called a realtor that used to be a client of mine. Yeah. And I asked, uh, does Clallam County know about the Homeless Prevention and Relocation Program? Because I had applied for it while I was on Guam. <laughs> and I spent every day looking for a residence. And I was out there in 90 degree heat all day long, walking around trying to find a place for my family to live. <laughs> well, somebody had made up the Oprah show where everybody was going to torture me and target me. Yes. Not thinking about how they had victimized my own sons in that process. <laughs> Now, somebody made this big show on Guam where Heidi had agreed right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then when I got here, I found out that that HUD program, yeah, was not available in Clallam County. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm thinking, yes, that um, not getting any notice or opportunity to be heard. Yes, some very false accusations were said about me. Poop. <laughs> now, this idea of being a bishop in a church? Yeah. Why don't you get me the church council of Kingsway Foursquare Church? Yes. See, Mike was very, well, he's very vindictive and retaliatory. Yes, he was. And it's a possibility that the little blue house that they lived in, yes, uh huh, uh, had its own separate uh, electric meter. Yes. And then there's that, um, the house that Marilyn and Mike lived in when they were first married, the parsonage there. Yeah. Did he really sell that? And was it private property? <laughs> because let's say the church council had knowledge of money laundering. Yes. The exploitation of children, <clears throat> the malicious house harassment of his wife. <laughs> See, I wanted to live with Marilyn and talk to her about how I wanted to do things. And it seemed that no church council felt any sort of personal liability. Yes. For the knowledge, yes, that the pastor was involved in some very nefarious activities. Now, I'm one of these uh, good Christian men, yes, that would sue each and every church council of every church that has not assessed the actual market value of their. Why don't you get me the church councils right now? Because it, it looks like the dog said, this is the way we're going to do things. There could be some anger problems. Oh, is that right? Oh, oh is that right? You're not self-willed. Did you say this is the way we're going to do it? Are you self-willed? Are you self-willed? Are you self-willed?